America's railroads have been on the financial critical list for years. Once the backbone of the nation's transportation system, they failed to keep pace with a faster-moving society, and now only 25% of the nation's railroads are considered financially softened. Al Chesser, the 200,000-member United Transportation Union, says discrimination against the railroads on federal funding, regulation, and taxation have contributed to the industry's financial woes, and he wants a major infusion of federal dollars to correct things. If our government is, is going to be the great father that doles out the money to industry, then we've got to be a part of it or we're dead. You're not getting your fair share. We're not getting our fair share. Put us on an even keel now to answer the question yes and no on the other side. Put us on an even keel and no, we don't need the government though. Chesser says railroads consume only 3% of all transportation energy to haul 40% of the nation's freight. He wants a massive influx of federal greenbacks to improve railroads in moving passengers and freight in three major urban areas of the Northeast and Midwest. Such a program, he says, will save 46 billion gallons of fuel each year by the year 2000, enough to heat more than 14 million homes. Chester says the union's plan will save the nation's sagging railroad industry. The question for the Congress and the taxpayers is can we afford to keep trains like this rolling? So far, union officials have declined to say how much their plan will cost. Doug Fox, Channel 8 News, Fort Worth.